Looking now at our community bulletin board or CBB items. The I Love the 90s Outdoor Film Festival in Roslyn continues <coughs> on Friday, July 30th, with Dumb and Dumber. There's a classic for you. And the following week on August 6th, there's Romeo and Juliet, and it's all free. Don't forget the games before the show, and you can even bring your picnic dinner. It starts at dusk at Gateway Park uh, by Key Bridge. For more information, Go to <coughs> roslynva.org. Org. Org. Yes. Daniel. And Craig, the Crystal Screen Outdoor Film Series in Crystal City presents Star Trek Insurrection on Monday, August the 2nd. Remember, they have special giveaways and activities in addition to the film. The fun oh, starts nice. at sundown near the metro station at 18th Street South and South <laughs> Bell Street. You can bring your own picnics if you abide by city and festival rules, and you can bring low back chairs and blankets, but no grills, umbrellas, or pets, please. That's right, Craig. No, no pets. None of that, and none of, none of that. low back chairs either. Don't, don't bring those. All right. There's always something interesting happening in Arlington <laughs> libraries. For example, Monday, August 2 at 6.30 in the evening, they're running the 1969 film. Sweet Charity, starring local girl Shirley MacLaine, and that's happening at the Shirlington branch. And then on Tuesday, August 3rd at 7 in the evening, the Central Library features a garden talk on the benefits of community gardens. And for teens, there's the Get Caught Reading 2010 series. Thursday, August 5th, brings body art at the library to the Central Library. That starts at 3.30 in the afternoon. And uh, we won't speculate on that one, but you can uh, use your imagination. Then there's the drop-in program, Page Turners for Preschoolers on Friday, August 6th. It starts at 10.15 in the morning at the Central Library. And for budding thespians, those are theater people, <laughs> Monday, August 9th uh, is a good one to mark on your calendar at 2 p.m. And head over to the new Westover Branch Library. Theater Workshop for Kids, ages 7 to 11. And there's more. Have a look at the library's website, arlingtonva.us slash forward slash lib, and then click on the full events calendar link. Daniel. And Craig Roslin's hopping these days on August the 3rd in Tuesday's lunchtime concerts. The Mystic Warriors take you to South America with their ethereal Andean folk music. It happens at Crandall uh, Mathey Park, that's at uh, 1933 North Lynn Street between 11.45 a.m. and 1.30 p.m. The Wednesday lunchtime concerts in Roslyn offers Belladonna, playing rhythm and blues. The music runs from 11.45 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. on August the 4th at Wilson Boulevard in North Moore Street. Then from 11.45 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. on Thursday, August the 5th, the Lovejoy Group brings their jazz and Latin rhythms to uh, Roslyn's Farmer's Market and Music. It's where Wilson Boulevard meets North Oak Street. And on Saturday, August the 7th, join Jocelyn Gordon and Hoopnautica. Oh, I'm sorry. I missed yes, that. you, you forgot it. One more time. Hoopnautica at Gateway Park in Roslyn from 9 to 10 a.m. Find this and more information online. That's at Roslynva. Dot org. Let's do it one more time just for grins. Yes. Ready? One, one two, two, three. three. Hoonautica. All right. Rock at the Row continues to entertain with their summer concert series at Pentagon Row. On Thursday evening, August 5th from 7 to 9 p.m., Alex Pilati rocks. It takes place at Pentagon Row, located at 1101 South Joyce Street. More information on this series is at pentagonrow, all one word, dot com. Daniel. And Craig, if you went to the Central Library on July the 8th hoping to see the Virginia Aquarium's Ocean in Motion event, you were probably disappointed because the show was canceled due to technical problems we hear. The show has been rescheduled for August the 17th, so remark your calendar. The exhibit will be open from 3 to 7 p.m. and it's free. There will also be a skit and craft program at 2 p.m. that day, which requires tickets. You can pick those up at the Central Library on the 16th. First come, first serve. And call 703-228-5946 if you have any more questions. All right, well, it's almost fair time. The Arlington County Fair runs from August 18th through the 22nd, so get ready. Here it comes. There'll be the regular activities, rides, entertainment, and crafts. 
plus a variety of foods from around the world. This year, there's also Bigsby's Rainforest Rescue, which is aimed at teaching youngsters about conservation, environmental preservation, and the idea of going green. It happens at the regular place, Thomas Jefferson Community Center, or TJ, located on 2nd Street South, just east of South Glebe Road. More details are available online at arlingtoncountyfair.us. Daniel? And Craig, the Arlington Partnership for Children, Youth, and Families Teen Network Board, who are Arlington teens working to change the community, is looking for adult volunteers. In the past, the Teen Network Board has explored teen stress, alcohol, and drug use, teen transit issues, and more. So they're pretty serious about this. Can you offer them serious guidance? Contact Ben Harris, the coordinator, that's at 703-228-1667. And some puppy foster parents are needed by the Animal Welfare League of Arlington. As they say, foster families help meet the needs of shelter animals in a big way. You can help by bringing the love and affection of shelter animals into your own home until a permanent home is available. Call the volunteer coordinator, that's at 703-931-9241, extension 245. And note that the Volunteer Arlington office has also moved into the new Human Services facility that's at 2100 Washington Boulevard on the third floor. That's a Sequoia, Sequoia Plaza? Sequoia. Sequoia Plaza, close. yes. Not bad. Very close. Good attempt. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, news for seniors is coming up, and Daniel and I will be back uh, right after we hear from Rich and his reviews. Rich, you're